Jorge Linares said that Devin Haney can't punch. And I think that's a fair thing to say, given the fact that Linares has been stopped five times and Haney never even came close to putting him down. But then Haney, bizarrely, came out after the fight, perhaps after hearing what Linares had said about him. And he said that he thought Linares would hit a lot harder than he actually did. Well, I think that Devin Haney's just trying to save face. Because if Linares hit a lot harder than he actually did, Devin Haney would have lost the fight by knockout. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And you've got people like Eddie Hearn and others, like in the comments section of some of my previous videos about Haney Linares, saying that, well, Lomachenko got dropped by Linares. Yeah, that was about three years ago that Lomachenko still stopped him. And on top of that, Lomachenko got hit with a shot, went down and got right back up. He wasn't seriously hurt. Devin Haney was a lot more hurt than Lomachenko was. Lomachenko was kind of caught square, a bit square, went down, legit knockdown, but he seemed to recover very quickly from it. Whereas Devin Haney was hurt for a long time in the fight. He was at the end of the 10th round, I believe. For most of the 11th round, he was hurt. And then in the 12th round, he was still kind of a bit cautious not to get clipped with something. So it took him a long time to recover. For my money, he was more hurt than Lomachenko was against Linares. And Linares is a decent puncher, but he's not like a devastating knockout artist. So for Haney to be getting hurt by him, look, things happen. But as I said in my post-fight video, Haney shouldn't have been fighting in such a way that Linares could clip him like that. He needs to own who he is, and that is a slick boxer, a guy who's going to be tricky and awkward for people, rather than going in there looking for knockouts and leaving himself exposed, which is what he did against Linares. And it could have backfired there because he was on shaky legs for quite a long time. And that's the point I was making. Anyone smart enough to actually listen to what I said and comprehend what I said would have known. The point I'm making is not that Haney can't compete with the Tiafimo Lopez's and the Ryan Garcia's. It's that if he fights the way he tried to fight against Linares, where he's aggressive and he's trying to think he's a puncher and get people out of there, then that would backfire, in my opinion, against Lopez, against Ryan Garcia, against Tank Davis, and so on. He would have to just be a pure slickster against those guys, in my estimation anyway, or else I don't think he would win. He would have to go in there like Bernard Hopkins looking to box a negative fight, not even thinking about trying to get a knockout or entertain the crowd.